Howdy, Cowboys Nation! Glad to have y'all back for another round of the latest buzz coming from America's team. So, let's dive right into it. After that painful 47-9 blowout against the Detroit Lions, calls are getting louder for the Dallas Cowboys to part ways with head coach Mike McCarthy. Right now, Dallas is sitting at 3-3 this season, but those two major losses early on ain't sitting well with anyone. Just two weeks ago, they took a 44-19 thumping from the New Orleans Saints. With McCarthy in the last year of his contract, folks are wondering if the Cowboys might make a mid-season move. Sure, it seems like a long shot, but with the bye week coming up, anything's possible. Now, Jerry Jones, the big boss of the Cowboys, sure didn't seem too keen on that idea in his post-game chat after the Lions game. He tried to calm the storm, but the chatter ain't slowing down. Pro Football Network's Sterling Asai has McCarthy on the hot seat as the team heads into Week 7's bye. With a break next week, this could be the perfect time for a shakeup, as I mentioned recently. As we wrap up, keep your eyes peeled for all the Dallas Cowboys news. The landscape is changing, and y'all won't want to miss a beat. Well, y'all, as we roll into Week 8, the Dallas Cowboys are heading to face off against the San Francisco 49ers. Now, this ain't just any game, the 49ers have gotten the upper hand on the Cowboys for three straight matchups, beating them by an average of 15 points per game, and that includes some tough playoff battles in 2021 and 2022. With that kind of track record hanging over their heads, it wouldn't be surprising if the Cowboys decide to shake things up to revitalize their season. Now, let's talk about Dak Prescott. He's sitting pretty as one of the more stable quarterbacks in the league, so if the Cowboys looking for a change, head coach Mike McCarthy might just find himself in the hot seat. Rumors are flying around, and folks are wondering if the Cowboys might even reach out to old-school mastermind Bill Belichick, who's got quite the resume from his days with the Patriots. This week's matchup is crucial for the Cowboys to prove they're still contenders in the NFL. They need to find a way to crack the code of the 49ers' defense, which has been given them fits in past encounters. With a few adjustments and some bold play calls, Dallas could shift the tide in their favor. This game ain't just about pride, it's about reclaiming their spot in the league and making a statement that they can hang with the best. Keep an eye on the latest Cowboys news, cause this game could change the narrative for the rest of the season. You hit that like button and subscribe for more Dallas Cowboys updates. This season's shaping up to be a wild one, and we'll be here with all the latest news, analysis, and behind-the-scenes action. Plus, you don't want to miss out on any surprises that might just turn this season into something special. Keep riding with us as we break it all down, from roster changes to game highlights. Let's see if these moves will take the Cowboys to the next level. One name that keeps popping up as a possible candidate to step in for the Dallas Cowboys is none other than Bill Belichick, the former head honcho of the New England Patriots. This legendary coach is spending his NFL season doing some media breakdowns, keeping a close eye on the league. NFL analyst Gary Myers raised a good question on October 13th, how soon after the Cowboys' latest humiliating loss at home will Jerry Jones give Belichick a ring? Then you've got former Fox Sports host Skip Bayless, who's been pretty vocal about Mike McCarthy's job status. He pointed to the Cowboys' playoff meltdown against the Green Bay Packers back in January as more than enough reason for McCarthy to pack his bags. I ask you, how in the name of Thomas Wade Landry does Mike McCarthy still have a job? He posted on October 13, I was a skin that after last year's playoff game, where we were the number two seed going against the number seven seed Packers, the youngest team in the league. Jerry, how do you not fire McCarthy? It's cause he's your best friend, and maybe your only friend. Happy birthday, Jerry. As for Jerry Jones and talk of making a coaching change, he simply stated, I'm not considering that. But if you're looking for reasons to keep faith in McCarthy, there's data out there defending this veteran NFL coach. 
Well, let me tell you, Mike McCarthy was the head honcho for the Packers when they snagged that Super Bowl win in the 2010 season. Now, over here in Dallas, the Cowboys are dealing with a whole heap of injuries on the defensive side, with stars like Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence sitting out. Even though the playoffs have been a bit elusive, McCarthy's managed to steer the Cowboys through three straight seasons with 12 wins each. Jerry Jones made it clear that he ain't thinking about switching up the coaching staff during the bye week. I haven't even considered a coaching change, he told the press on October 13 after that tough loss to the Lions. I'm not considering that. So, you're clear, I'm not considering that. This season, though, is not what folks had in mind. The Cowboys are in the record books, but not for any good reasons. After last year where the Dallas Cowboys were breaking records left and right, this time around has flipped completely. As they head into the bye week, they're sitting at a 3-3 record, feeling pretty lucky not to be 0-5. Wins against teams like the Browns, Giants, and Steelers are nice, but they're just enough to keep them in the NFC East hunt. Now, talk about a rough patch. Just yesterday against the Lions, the Cowboys suffered their biggest home loss under Jerry Jones since he took over back in 89, and wouldn't you know it, that was on Jones' 82nd birthday. Over the last four home games, which includes playoff action, Dallas has given up a staggering 167 points. That's the third most points allowed in four home games in NFL history. So yeah, it's safe to say they've got some serious work ahead if they want to turn this ship around. Well, let me tell you, Jerry Jones' comments after that game were downright comical. He was acting all shocked and surprised about the team's performance when deep down he knows he's the one who made things worse this offseason, not better. Come on, Jerry, if you really felt bad about it, you'd stop telling us you do. If you were truly sorry, you'd have put your money where your mouth is like you promised us after last year's playoff heartbreak. That 167 points given up over the last four home games? That's a record nobody wants to have. Don't forget, this is a team that once boasted a 16-game home win streak. So, what do y'all think? Should Mike McCarthy be shown the door by the Dallas Cowboys? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit that like button, and we'll catch y'all in the next video. Now, let's dive a little deeper into what's going on. Jerry Jones has always been a larger-than-life figure in the NFL, and his recent comments have sparked a firestorm of opinions among fans and analysts alike. Many believe his decisions have directly impacted the Cowboys' performance, especially after a season that saw them struggle defensively. The team's inability to maintain a strong defense, especially in front of their home crowd, is concerning. With a rich history behind them, fans are anxious to see the Cowboys return to their glory days. Whether it's through better player acquisitions or coaching changes, there's a growing demand for accountability. As the NFL season unfolds, all eyes will be on how the Cowboys respond to this criticism and what moves they make to turn things around.